Hi, I'm Gina Perry, BCC class of 2011. I grew up in Johnston, Rhode Island. Um, I graduated from Johnston High School and um, I actually did not cook or bake much growing up. My mother did all the cooking. Um, she was a single mom, so um, it was kind of, always kind of like on the go, uh, a little bit rushed, but uh, I got interested in baking and cooking once I, once I got married. Right after I graduated, I met my husband, who was from Bristol, Rhode Island, and, uh, and shortly after I moved to Bristol, and then we were married. I was working at the time in retail for Verizon Wireless, um, and then we decided to start a family, so I had my first son, and uh, once he was born, I decided to stay at home and not go back to work, so I was home with him and then my second son for probably about six or seven years, and it was while I was home. Um, that I started cooking more naturally for my family and I baked my older son's first birthday cake and that was kind of where it all started. I started baking cakes for friends and family and I found that I really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed art when I was in high school and I even considered going into art after high school but there wasn't much opportunity in the art world then like there is now. There wasn't the graphic design wasn't at quite as big and um, I decided to go into, into retail at the time. That's kind of where where life led me, but finally I found myself back to um, an artistic way of uh, expressing myself through baking and cakes and cake design. I started baking cakes for friends and family, like I said, and um, slowly it started to grow. I started doing cakes for friends of friends and then friends of friends of friends. and. Um, I decided that if I wanted to seriously consider this for a career option, I wanted to be educated not just in cake design, but also in the rest of the world of the pastry arts. I wanted to learn how to make doughs and pies and croissants and danishes and, and everything else. So the easiest way for me to do that was to naturally get go, go to culinary school. And I found um, there were a few options in Rhode Island of, um, you know, Johnson & Wales, of course, is a great school. But once, I, once somebody directed me to BCC, um, I decided that was the more logical choice because it was far less expensive and, um, and I'm an older student so I wanted to be among peers um, and, uh, and once I visited the campus at BCC I definitely felt like that was going to be a good fit so I started taking some night classes to get some prerequisites and eventually started the, the uh, two-year pastry art program. I felt like my education from BCC was very thorough. We started with you know the science of baking. We went through bread classes, different um, cookies, cakes, of course, and we went right through everything from from A to Z um, as far as baking and pastry arts. And I felt like it definitely gave me the basis, uh, a good foundation for um, everything in the pastry world. So I could kind of take it and grow and expand with what I was taught there. I knew when I started um, college that I eventually wanted to open up a shop of my own. Um, it was definitely kind of a goal that I had in mind and once I graduated I did spend a summer uh, working for a caterer and eventually started my business plan for the sweet shop um, and it didn't take very long to find a location. I did want to find something in Bristol where I, where I live but um, ultimately found a perfect spot here in Barrington um, and it was kind of the timing was right. We found the perfect size and price location so we decided to go forward and open up shop. We opened up about nine months ago, and since then I've definitely learned a lot about the business world. I do feel like I was definitely more prepared from BCC because there was a business course included in the culinary um, program that had us create a virtual restaurant or bakery in my case, and I actually had some insight into what went into opening the shop. And then once I opened, um, it was definitely an adjustment for my family and I to get used to me working longer hours, later hours, sometimes crazy hours. Um, but now that we've kind of, I would say once we're about six months into it, we definitely found a groove and a, a, a nice rhythm. So between my husband and I, we can, you know, manage the kids and their schedule and, and our busy work schedule. So it took a little while, but we finally found a good balance. I would strongly feel that if I had opened up the shop before getting my education at BCC, um, it would have been much, much more difficult to have the type of shop that I own today. Um, we're a specialty shop. We create 90% of our cakes are custom order cakes, and sometimes customers have strange requests. They would like, you know, a bouche de Noël for Christmas or a doboche tour for a family member because they can't find one anywhere else. And being with the education that I have, I've I've done a little bit of everything. So it definitely helps me offer my customers more of a wider variety, 
and, um, and understanding just the baking process and being able to create the types of recipes that we want to offer here in the shop, different flavors and different flavor combinations. So I definitely feel like I was better prepared and it wouldn't have been nearly as easy to, to do this without the education from BCC.